breaking down the triggers. Let's get into what trigger jobs we are doing for the Archon Type B and what the benefits are of them. If you just got an Archon Type B or if you're looking to get one and um, you've done a little bit of research and you know you want a better trigger, it does come with a good trigger, but you know you want a better trigger, this is gonna be great for you. And if you've been around and you've heard stage one, stage two, and stage three combat trigger, and also the Holy Grail trigger, which is very popular over at Iron Horse Firearms, we're gonna explain it all, all right? So let's get into it. And this one is a stock trigger. This one is a stage three trigger. And let's go ahead and just show you. Our safety is off right there. And this, you know, the Archon Type B triggers do not have the external safety. It's all built internally. I think they really should patent that. Um, I, don't, I haven't seen anyone else do that. So very cool, steel trigger shoe. Safety is off, so as soon as the trigger breaks, there it broke just now. There's the over travel right there. Well, let's see the reset here. So we're pinned all the way to the rear. Here's our reset. Okay, you guys catch that? One more time. I got the technique now. I just press with my thumb bit by bit. As soon as it breaks, there it broke. There's the over travel, okay? And that is the, the uh, disconnector going past where the, where the sear ends. Gun goes boom, and it, this, the disconnector is going past uh, the uh, rounding of the sear, the geometry of the sear, okay? Let's check out the stage three now. Here's the stage three we've done. I have safety off, safety off right there. That little bit of take up, I'm on the wall right now. There it is right there, that's the take up. Both guns have that. And now I'm gonna press this one nice and slow. Okay, trigger broke. Now I'm gonna try to press it more, and you can't. There's zero over travel there. Let's check the reset now in comparison. There it is. Okay, so about half the distance. Let's do that trigger press again. Take up. There we go, bang, and now I'm pressing harder, no over travel. And the reset one more time. There we go. Okay, so how do we achieve this? There's geometry in this part of the gun. When the trigger is pressed, we want the sear to move to the side and time it that when the trigger presses into the trigger plunger, okay, the detent, that that stops the same time the sear is right in the right position for the striker to go. And on the flip side of that, when you're doing your trigger reset, there is less distance for the reset as well, okay? And that is an awesome trigger. And that's why we're doing this one for all the guns that we're doing trigger jobs on because it's a great gun, it's a flat shooting gun, you're going to, with the low bore axis and with the inline barrel, all of this cool technology in this gun, you're gonna be back on target faster for your split times. So now you really have a great trigger to lend to the shorter split time and then also the less trigger movement. So let's talk about the combat and then the Holy Grail. Number one, going backwards on both of those triggers the Holy Grail trigger in the combat, the only difference is that the golden chalice, Cerakoted golden etch, laser etch chalice is on the Holy Grail. Otherwise, they're exactly the same triggers internally, okay? And the Holy Grail is offered by Iron Horse Firearms, which I'm absolutely uh, a part of and affiliated with. And also, Rain 6 is the combat trigger, okay? all the parts inside, every piece of metal that's engaging metal. And if you notice on both of these triggers, as I'm pressing it real slow, it might get hung up because there is some grit. All those parts are nitride coated. When you're doing a type of bullseye shooting or, uh, or shooting for accuracy and you're not under a time limit and you get to do a really slow trigger press, you'll feel a lot of that grit in any gun unless the internals are polished. So what we do is polish all the internals so that the trigger press is a zero pound 
on, on this gun all the way up to six, boom, and then it's over. It doesn't go three, four, and then gets past some grit and it trigger moves and then maybe it drops back, you know, or it feels very inconsistent as you're going over those bumps of grit. All the parts are internally um, polished that are all mated up against each other during the trigger press and the trigger reset. And then there's one more thing that we do to the combat in the Holy Grail. This was a, let's see, right on the bend of the trigger and straight back, just about seven pounds. Let's do that again. And then I'm gonna tell you what the trigger weight is, trigger pull on the stage three and the Holy Grail. Okay. Right at six and a half pounds. Let's do that one more time. We'll get three samples. There we go. So six, three quarters, six and a half, seven pounds. Okay. And now with the stage three, let's see what kind of trigger pull. It's going to be about a pound less. Sure enough, we're at six exactly. Let's do that again. So a little bit lighter than stock, a little bit less travel, less reset, six pounds. Oh, that was just a tick under six. So six pounds for a stage three, about seven pounds, so one pound less when you go with the stage three. And then when it is the combat and or holy grail, expect another half to three quarter pound less than these, okay? Than the stage three. So you're gonna be right at about five and a quarter. And it's a, and because it's a really short press and a short reset, but really the short press, it feels even lighter because there's less um, length that you're actually pulling the trigger. All right, so the stage one, we don't do anymore. All that was was a, a spring change in a tune to the trigger pull and that would drop it from about seven pounds to about five, four and a half. We no longer do that. We're doing all stage threes now. The stage two, lighten the trigger so much that depending on what springs went in there, because they're all there's a variance between all the springs and the gun, so stacking those tolerances and then even shooting 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 rounds through it, we noticed that the reset was floating a little bit in there. Totally safe. The trigger was great and the pull was very light, but the reset was a little bit floating in there with not enough power to reset it in a, in a, a sure feel. So we just did away with the stage two and we did away with the stage one once we created the stage three in the combat and the Holy Grail triggers. If you have any further questions, just hit us up on email or give us a buzz here at Rain 6, 435-828-1440. Probably send in a text. Maybe we probably get through those about once a week, go through everything. So if your text or if your call is hanging around, voicemail is hanging around for a little bit, just know that we usually get to those for sure once a week, all of them at once, or maybe even twice a week. All right, thanks for tuning in and checking us out, guys for the uh, breakdown on the trigger jobs and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.